Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for you for the week of March 1st through March 7th. For this week, I pulled in a super old Scribble Prints Co. kit. I think this is probably like four years old. It's called Flawless, and I did not pick up glitter headers with this one. I'm not even sure if there was a glitter header option back then or if it was all just in multicolor. I honestly don't remember. This kit is so old that it's actually starting to smell kind of minty. Like if you've had Scribble Prints Co. kits that are older and you've had them in your collection for a while, they definitely start to take on this sort of minty kind of smell. I was also having some trouble getting a lot of the stickers to actually stick to the page, which I feel like you guys will see pretty well throughout this plan with me. Anytime I had to pull something up, it was super easy to pull up because these stickers are just frankly so old. They're just starting to lose a little bit of their stick. So for today's video, while I put down all of the base things, the glitter headers, the full boxes, the washi, and I did use a bunch of pink foiled overlays as well. While I put all of that stuff down, I'm going to just continue slash finish up with the tag from the last video. I think I've got like three questions left. So it might not take me through the entire intro, but if it does, I will just go ahead and continue on with the rest of the spread and just let you know where all the stickers are from, kind of like I usually do in my Plan With Me videos. So without further ado, We'll just go ahead and get into the questions. So last time I left off at question number 13. This question asks, what planner would you recommend to a first time user and or planner to decorate? For me, I feel like it was really helpful. Well, let me just preface this by saying I started with an Erin Condren colorful planner. I believe my first planner was her 2015-2016 split year planner, and I did really, really enjoy that. Now, as I was sort of starting to plan, I did buy a bunch of, like, dollar store stickers and things like that, and very quickly realized that those don't work for my planning style. So for me, it was a lot of experimentation. I think it took me a while to actually find a style that worked for me. And eventually I realized that the style that worked for me was at least when I first started planning, it was no white space planning. So I had like a full box in every column, a full heart checklist in every column, and then whatever space was left, I was filling it with half boxes and little things and washi just so that basically the entire page was covered. And that worked really well for me for, I think, a couple of years, maybe just over a year, but it worked really well for me for quite a while. I obviously no longer plan like that and eventually sort of fell into this style of, I don't know, I guess it's, I guess it's kind of like the some white space style where sometimes I use bougie boxes and sometimes I actually have like a little bit of white space between each of the labels. I do tend to prefer to write on the sticker paper rather than the planner page just to avoid any sort of shadowing or things like that. So all of that being said, I think if you are new to planning and you have access to a printer, Personally, I think it would be helpful to start with printables of a couple of different sizes so that you can try a few different layouts and see what you like. And that would be probably the best advice that I would give to my former just starting planning self. I think, I mean, I know I've tried a few different layouts like I've had a B6 planner, I've had a personal rings planner, I've had a personal wide rings planner, and that being said, I've realized that I really don't like ring bound planners, just generally. I've had a couple traveler's notebooks as well, and I just don't like leather bound planners or anything 
that has like a cover around it that's not just like a super thin notebook kind of cover. I feel like it bulks up my planner too much and because I use stickers in planning it just it just makes everything extra super bulky. I don't know if I'm getting off on too much of a tangent here but maybe it's helpful for anyone who's new to the planning community or new to planning in general to hear you know someone who's been doing this for a while um what my recommendations would be i don't know if that's helpful i'm hoping that it is but yeah i would say if you have access to a printer i would try printables first that way you can try a couple different styles and a couple different sizes of pages and sort of figure out how your plans or how your planning style sort of fits on the page and figure out what's best for you and if you're looking for some recommendations for printable shops, I do really like Jesenia Printables and Annie Plans Printables. So far, those are the two shops that I've purchased the most printables from, like up to this point. If you're looking for inserts that are printed and maybe you just want to try some inserts, a couple different kinds, I know So Much Crafting also does some really fantastic printed inserts. And if you find something that you like in a printable shop, but you don't have access to a printer, I believe you can have printables from either Annie Plans or Jesenia Printables printed from Printpression. I will try my best to link all of the shops and all of the items that I am mentioning, both as, as answers to the questions in this tag and all of the sticker shops that I used like in the actual spread. All of that information will be in the description box down below if you are interested in checking out anything that I've mentioned in this video. Another thing that I wanted to mention as far as like for somebody who's just starting in planning would be not to go, you know, too ham on purchasing stickers all at once. I know I've definitely made some mistakes in the past where I just overpurchased on stickers and things like that. And then they just eventually, when I found my style, they were no longer my style. So I had a bunch of stickers on hand that I wouldn't, you know, really go through. So thankfully, I had a friend who was interested in planning as well. And so I was able to pass those on to her and she ended up using them. But you know, if you don't have a planner friend close to you like that, I would definitely caution you on purchasing too many stickers all at once. But if you do plan on buying stickers, and I'm not saying don't buy stickers at all, I would say try a couple different kit layouts or sticker layouts, kind of like planner layouts, planner page layouts. Just try a couple of different things from a couple of different shops and see what you like, see what works for you and figure out what doesn't work for you. And then just don't purchase those things anymore. So that was a really long answer to that question. And I think that <laughs> got me through like half the video. So maybe I won't actually get to talk about the stickers that are in the spread, but moving on to the next question, it was, if you had to pick only one planner, which would you use and why? Really, I only use one planner. I mean, I have a work planner, kind of, but, like, that's separate and different. I have one planner that I use for all of my life things, and that is this planner that you guys see in this video. And this is a planner that I DIY'd myself. If you are interested in how I put this planner together and what inserts I used, I will definitely go ahead and link that video for you. I do have a video that goes through all of the different layouts that I put into it. In particular, these inserts are from Jesenia Printables. I really do like her A5 wide week on two page, vertical, undated. What other descriptors are there? I think that's it. They're just her A5 wide vertical undated planner inserts. I love these. They work really well for me. They allow me to use a lot of the old kits that I have stockpiled and I don't have to worry about, you know, will it fit in my planner? But anyway, uh, if you are interested in any additional information regarding this planner, this 
this is like my one and only my go-to from now probably for the foreseeable future I don't think I'm gonna do a different planner for 2022 at this point and that's saying a lot I'm really really happy with this one so yes that video where I put this all together will be linked in the description box down below and we will move on to the last question and it says bonus question show your washi tape stash and is it out of control well um <laughs> i didn't take any film clips of my washi stash i actually didn't look at this question really beforehand at all but i will say i have been purchasing washi for basically since i started planning with washi and all of those things like back in 2015 2016 and washi is definitely one of my favorite planner accessories which i really should use it in my planner more frequently than i actually do but that's beside the point anyway yeah i definitely have been collecting washi for quite a while i don't think in all of those years i've ever used up an entire roll of washi which is saying something like washi lasts a very long time especially when you use it pretty sparingly so all of that to say i love washi i collect washi i think any normal person would think that my collection is out of control but i think it's eclectic so we'll just call it there okay so that is everything for this planner tag I will, of course, leave the tag linked in the description box down below if you are interested in answering any of these questions for yourself. Go ahead and leave all of your answers in the comments if you are interested in doing so. I would love to read how you guys would answer these questions. It looks like I have just enough time to jump in on Saturday. So the first thing that I marked on Saturday morning was that I made a target run I used an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark Target, as well as a Target script sticker that is from Kinsey's Creations. Then I had a hair appointment. The icon came with the kit, and the hair appointment script is from Kinsey's Creations again. On my drive home, I talked to my parents. That phone sticker came with the kit as well. I also needed to run and get some gas on my way home, so I used a little thing and a car icon that came with the kit, and then the get gas script is a script from Kinsey's Creations. After I got home that day, I needed to do some laundry, so I pulled in this laundry script icon, which is from Willow Wallow Co. Afterwards, I ordered some cupcakes from the cupcake station. They were absolutely delicious. They were like homemade cupcakes and they were oh and homemade buttercream frosting oh my goodness okay anyway moving on yeah the cupcake emoji is from the coffee monsters co as is the emoji painting its nails and then the paint nail script is from kinsey's creations which i believe you can buy as a regular stock item in her shop now i know it was a custom when i purchased it last on Sunday morning, the first thing that I did was watch some YouTube, so I pulled in a little thing from the kit to mark that. While I was watching YouTube, I was snuggling my Maisie Girl. The paw print sticker came with the kit, and the Snuggle Maisie script is a custom from Kinsey's Creations. Afterwards, I did some more laundry, and again used one of those laundry scripts from Willow Wallow Co. While I was working on some laundry, I was also watching lots of anime, so I used an anime binge script from Kinsey's Creations. And then, of course, the TV icon came with the kit. After that, I worked on a voiceover. That microphone sticker is from Soda Pop Studio, who I believe is not currently open. But the voiceover script is from Kinsey's Creations, and that was a custom at the time. I don't know if she does those in the full lowercase unless you order them as a custom. After that, we had Gus's for dinner. I also changed the sheets. That script sticker is from Willow Wallow Co. And then I finished off my evening by uploading a plan with me. The emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And the script is from Kinsey's Creations. So here I am just putting my planner page back into my planner. And here is a Viv Wiggle to show off all of the gorgeous pink foil. If you have any questions about where any of the other stickers in this spread are from, please leave them in the comments below. 
And here is everything that I have left in the kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. Let me know if you are interested in me answering more tag questions and which tag you'd like to see next. Take care, everyone. Bye.